Hello, Internets. I'm Andy, and I finally got Battlefield 3. And the first video, beta map. Um, but I do fly around on some jets for the first time since the beta. And it goes a lot better than I expected. Not great, but better. And, uh, holy fuck is this game ever fun. I, I have raged so hard at this game while playing, but I have yet to rage quit. Which is much more than I can say about Call of Duty. And I try to shoot down that helicopter here and it doesn't work. That was kind of embarrassing, but someday I will shoot down a helicopter and I'll get it on video. I swear it now. Anyways, Battlefield 3. Fucking awesome. I, um, I couldn't get the multiplayer to work after I got it, which was... it. I was distraught. But I, I played through the single-player campaign, which was pretty fucking cool. Especially the jet mission in there. It was awesome. And it was so pretty, and there were explosions. And then I just kind of randomly tried again tonight to, uh, to get multiplayer working. And suddenly it threw me into a match. I was like, fuck yeah! So... Oh man, the maps are so cool in this. Uh, I, I have no idea what they're called, so I'm just going to go by descriptions. The one with the, with the little tunnel through the mountain in the middle, that one was really cool. And and the, the high with that one was awesome. And none of you have any idea what I'm talking about, that's cool. But seriously, if you're kind of on the fence about getting this game, and for some reason you're looking up Battlefield 3 videos anyways, and you somehow find our channel... I say buy it. It's it's pretty fucking cool. It it's really awesome to to just kind of rush forward with your squad, and uh, you never really oh here's the jet gameplay coming up. Um, you never see that in Call of Duty. You're always on your own in COD, except for very rare circumstances. But uh, but this one, it, uh, people seem to stick together pretty well, and it's really cool to see. And it's a, a nice change of pace from from Call of Duty. Um, I am a bit embarrassed with this jet gameplay of me trying desperately to dodge uh, the other plane. Oh, I think I hit a tower there. I am not ready for Top Gun yet. Uh, I, I tried desperately to dodge missiles after I figured out that I can't actually deploy flares. I think, I don't know, I was spamming X and nothing was happening. So, I don't know. But, uh, it worked well to an extent, and then I got shot down. I actually got killed by a guy in a jet while I was on foot, and I'm like, oh my god. Fuck. But, uh, but anyways. It, uh, it, it, it's good time so far, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, and, uh, I am still very, very psyched about Modern Warfare 3, but I definitely will keep playing this even, even after that, and even probably after Skyrim comes out, too. I don't know, it's, it's really fucking fun. Um, I still haven't been on all the maps, I, uh, I didn't play too long because when I got it working it was already like 1 in the morning, so, um, didn't really have a whole lot of time to, uh, do it, but, uh, hopefully we'll, uh, have a little more variety in maps with the videos soon, because I'm sure all of you have seen enough Metro and Caspian Border, even though Caspian Border is pretty fucking beautiful, but, uh, yeah, here's my first shoot down. That motherfucker. I, I, the kill cams in this, uh, Woody, Woody's gamer tag, he said it best. When, when it just shows you their face, you just, you go from being mad you died to just hating that fucker on a personal level. It just, like, forces you to stare him in the eye and you just fucking want to strangle him. He's done nothing wrong, he's playing the game, but you just want to slaughter his family. Maybe the slaughtering family is just me, but you want to punch him in the face. <laughs> and I, I think Dice is just fucking with us for putting that in. Because seriously, it is the worst. I, that's probably 90% of the reason I'm raging so hard, but not rage quitting. It's because I just hate all these people. On just like a molecular level, I just want to hit them over and over in the face. That doesn't usually happen on Call of Duty unless I get killed repeatedly by a 12 year old sitting in a corner. Then I mostly just want to kill his parents for failing. But yeah. Definitely rage at this game. But it's not a frustrating game like Call of Duty. Like, no matter how many times I die, I'm still having fun. And uh, I think that's really important. And even in this game, because of the, the emphasis on teamwork, 
In Call of Duty, if I get an assist, I, I start yelling, Oh, you motherfucking kill stealer! But, but in this game, I'm like, Oh yeah, fuck yeah, assist, I'm helping! And you, you still feel a sense of accomplishment, and I, I think that's, that's really cool. And I, I think DICE did a very good job with this. And I, I switched to a sniper here. Um, bad idea. I'm still not very good with snipers in any game. Uh, but yeah, the campaign was really cool. I know a lot of YouTube commentators uh, don't really take part in the whole single-player uh, thing, but um, I, I've always liked the stories, in no matter what game, even if it's a fucking cheesy, you know, guessable... I can't remember the word I'm thinking of. Predictable! That's the word! I can't believe I used to get 80s in English class. Um, yeah, even if it's a predictable storyline, I still like experiencing it. And I, I think it really adds a lot to a game. And I'll be very disappointed if if games move away from having single player and, and just have multiplayer. Uh, anyways, game's over. So, uh, more Battlefield 3 footage as I get it. It's very hard to get gameplays for this. And uh, probably some more Call of Duty 4 uh, gameplay in the next day or two. So, see you next time, guys.